अभी डॉक्टर अभिनाभ चंद्रचूत यू रोट अ बुक रिपब्लिक ऑफ रेटरिक फ्री स्पीच एंड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया इन द केदारनाथ वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ बिहार केस विच सत्यपाल जैन जस्ट साइटेड नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टू कोर्ट सेड अ सिटीजन हैज अ राइट टू से और राइट वॉट एवर ही लाइक्स अबाउट द गवर्नमेंट और ही और क्रिटिसाइज और कॉमेंट सो लॉन्ग एज ही डज नॉट इंसाइट पीपल टू वायलेंस अगेंस्ट द गवर्नमेंट एस्टैब्लिश बाई लॉ और विद द इंटेंशन ऑफ क्रिएटिंग पब्लिक डिसऑर्डर नाउ द वरी इज दिस इज वेरी वाइडली इंटरप्रिटेड डू यू बिलीव द रियल चैलेंज इज टू फ्रेम गाइडलाइंस for for courts or, or and in particular for the police or do you believe that the law itself as the united kingdom has done needs to be junked so more than guidelines i think this is a golden opportunity for the government to bring about some reform in the law even if the government does not want to scrap the law altogether and i can think of at least three things that the government can do if it doesn't want to scrap the law of sedition which is really to bring the law in line with mm-hmm. the law of sedition as it was in england in 1832 and from 1832 onwards mm-hmm. in other words 190 years ago in england sedition was considered a misdemeanor and not a felony mm-hmm. that meant that sedition was a bailable offence in other words if you were accused of the offence of sedition you were entitled to be released on bail as a matter of right the british of course made it a non bailable offence in india for obvious reasons there's no reason why we need to continue with this colonial hangover the second point is that since 1832 in england sedition was what we would now call a non cognizable offence mm. in other words if the police want to investigate a, the crime of sedition they require a warrant from a magistrate they can't arrest somebody without obtaining a warrant from a magistrate now surprisingly the british in colonial india made sedition a non cognizable offence we in independent india in 1974 when the new criminal procedure code came into being made it a cognizable offence for the first time in india's history so this is a self inflicted the wound it's a self goal mm-hmm. and this is something that we should do away with and thirdly sedition since 1832 in england being a misdemeanor was punishable with only 2 years in prison but the british made it punishable in india with life imprisonment it continues to be punishable with life life imprisonment in india mm-hmm. so there's no reason why these three reforms cannot be enacted of course if the government wants to carry out a more serious exercise mm-hmm. to determine whether the law of sedition should be scrapped altogether there are two things that the government needs to look at first and foremost the government must realize that there are a negligible number of sedition cases being registered on a year on year basis so if you look at the past 5 years years the national crime records bureau will tell you that sedition cases constitute 0.8% of the offenses against the state that are registered each year in 2020 for example there were 73 sedition cases as against over 5000 cases of offenses against the state over a thousand murder cases over 2000 theft cases and the conviction rate as you rightly said rajdeep in sedition cases is very low the average conviction rate is 20% in the past 5 years in 2019 as you rightly pointed out it was 3% mm-hmm. but it has a chilling effect on free speech on journalism and so on okay so what the government if i can really just end by saying this mm-hmm. what the government needs to do is in the past 5 years it needs to examine the 20% cases where a conviction was obtained for sedition and the government needs to examine that was sedition really necessary in order to secure a conviction or could the accused have been convicted or and was the accused convicted of other offenses for example waging war against the state and so on right. if so then really sedition has been reduced to a dead letter in india as it was in england since 1832 of course as you rightly pointed out in 2009 sedition was scrapped in england so you know in a way what you are also suggesting that you need to create safeguards